What's up, traders? I am Matt, your host of Conservative Trades. Happy Valentine's Day. Great day in the markets today, guys. Uh, long day in the markets, a lot of trading today. And um, uh, I tell you what, for Valentine's Day, Tesla broke my heart for like the 50th time this week. Uh, but Roku came through with a with a beautiful, beautiful love letter for me today. So uh, <laughs> uh, it, it was an it was an interesting day to say to to say the least to say the least. And you know what? By the way, um, I forgot to do this on yesterday's video. Um, I keep meaning to show my executions. I always remove them because um, while I'm trading, they kind of get in my way a little bit. But um, I, I need to remember to put them up during the actual video i just i feel like it's i feel like it's better just for the sake of transparency and whatnot because the executions basically show where exactly where you bought and sold or went short and then covered and so um i think it's very i think it's very important to uh to at least have that up while i'm running through my trades now roku i'm not even gonna halfway try to go through all of this stuff i mean y you can see it, it looks like i hung christmas lights all over the place here uh it's just it, it, i did a lot of scalp trading on roku today just a lot of scalp trading and scalp trading um you know i i'll say this to the beginner trader or, or I should say, rather, for the beginner trader, scalping is probably not something that that you should really attempt. Uh, it, it scalping requires a lot of time in the market, you know, and 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 I, and I have literally, literally spent hours, hours, days, weeks, months in the markets doing nothing but watching charts and chart patterns and how chart patterns play out. Okay, and so I have a I have a very healthy understanding of uh, scalping techniques and how price action works and, and some of the best entry points and exit points and, and all of that stuff for buying and selling or shorting and covering and all that. So, you know, it's not something that I that I typically recommend as and, and it's not something I really demonstrate too much as, as far as, you know, having a, you know, the, the whole uh, conservative, quote unquote, conservative trading strategy that that I have here, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's definitely something that, that you can utilize on fast moving volatile stocks, kind of like Roku and what Roku's doing today. And you know, Roku had reported earnings last night and they shot all the way up here to uh, the 152 area and then just completely tanked. I mean, completely tanked. It's just been, it's just been going nowhere but down pretty much all day today. It's just been going down, 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 down. As you can see, um, this is kind of where it opened up this morning and I mean, it, you know, I tell you what, if you got in with a large share size up here and you've been holding through all of this, you're the man. That's all I got to say. You're the man. Um, but I, I was actually trading on uh, some other stocks during that time. Uh, BTAI is one that I'll cover for you real quick. It's a uh, therapeutics company, BioXL. And, you know, I can't remember what the news was on this. But again, you know, it was kind of one of those things where... I just I had a I had a scalping strategy and the first trade that I took was actually not you know I, I kind of got scared I kind of got scared I saw that it had broken down through VWAP so I went short but as it started making its way back up I got scared because it, this stock was extremely spready so I actually bought a full set of shares here I only got out half my shares here and then I covered the rest here and the rest here as it played out but I I took out some here because I didn't know if it was gonna like pull one of these and just whip all the way back up here and I and I I would never have been able to sit through that so again you know because it, it it I took the share short it popped up through VWAP and as it came back down I took half my shares off it closed here came up here open and then resolved and then I took off again I took off uh, some of my shares here and the rest of my shares here so and then this right here was just kind of a little scalping trade I did it again I noticed the VWAP rejection I placed an order right here around uh, 3660 and uh, got filled and then uh, took profit here around 3607 roughly I'm, I'm guessing I, I could go through the order book here and show you all the executed orders but um, you, you see the P&L here you see what I'm up on you see what I'm down on Tesla was the killer today and Tesla has just been Tesla has been acting very funny lately and I think because here on the daily chart you can see that the daily chart is kind of in a in a in a, in a very it's 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 forming a tightening pattern on the daily it's it's in a place of consolidation the buyers and the sellers are kind of having a tug of war right now trying to figure out what the price should be and I personally think that this stock is 
ultimately going to go down. I think we're going to go down here to the five to 600 areas. Um, I don't, you know, I, I think, I think a lot of people are expecting though. And, and I think this is why it's so whippy because a lot of people are expecting that there is going to be some kind of a short squeeze, at least up to 850. I mean, look at Tesla. It came all the way up to almost a thousand dollars, $968. And the very next day it was down to 704. It lost almost 300 points within a 24 hour period. Okay. And really less time than that, if you think about it, because the market opened here and it just shot straight down. So, um, you know, but I think I think everybody is kind of wary right now because they think there's going to be some kind of massive short squeeze before it sells off. But the reason why I think it's going to ultimately sell off is because, you know, this was just a straight parabolic move. I mean, if you really look at this, I mean, look at this. This just came all the way up. And 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 so I think people realize that Tesla really is not valued this highly yet. Now, Tesla may one day be worth a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars a share. OK, it might be like Amazon, you know, but right now it's not. It's just not. And so I personally think at some point we're going to see um, a massive downside to Tesla. And I hope I'm watching it that day because I'll definitely want to short that stock. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, good day today. We're ending the day up $341.06. I probably spend about, I don't know, $50 in commission. So um, not, not, not quite, hun or excuse me, not quite $300 on the day, but uh, we're, we're just slowly working our way back here. Um, as, as many of you may know, you, those of you who have been following me this week as as I, this is the first week that I've launched my day trading YouTube channel. And, um, it, it started out a little bit wonky this week. You know, the, the market has been slow and choppy all week anyway. And, um, but you know, I took a, took a pretty heavy loss on Monday and I've just kind of been, you know, chiseling away at it and working my way back throughout the week. So, um, but we're going to get back in here next week. Hopefully the momentum will continue to pick up and we'll get some some pretty good moves in the stock market. So actually, as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, we may not be trading on Monday. I, I think that the banks might be closed. I don't know. I, I need to double check on that. But point point being, if you don't see me here Monday, you'll know why. Um, so, but anyway, I will be back next week, Monday or Tuesday. I'll be right back here. Uh, I've got the live stream that will start around 9 a.m. And then, I, of course, I'll hit you with a daily recap. All right, guys, have a great weekend.